Wesati Hala Ikata Hrafnar. With you all health, I am Hrafnar, or Raven, whichever you prefer. Who speaks for the gods? Or the goddesses? Well, first and foremost, the gods and goddesses do. But secondly, whomever they choose. I have often seen how easily people can just denounce or reject somebody as speaking for the gods and goddesses, not because of actual sound logic or reasoning, not because of actual thorough questioning of the person's claims, but because of some kind of bias, closed-mindedness, and arrogance. Just because you have a certain perception of the gods and the goddesses doesn't mean that the gods and the goddesses can't choose whomever they want to speak for them. I mean, if you reject somebody and say, oh, you, you don't speak for the gods, in a way, even if you don't realize it, you're trying to speak for the gods by saying who doesn't speak for them. And that's just as questionable as the people you're saying couldn't possibly speak for the gods. So I'm not saying that we should automatically accept it when someone says that I am speaking for the gods or the goddesses, but I am saying we shouldn't automatically reject it either. That's just as arrogant and foolish. Use your reasoning. If someone claims that they receive some kind of message or guidance from the deities, approach it with an open mind and be analytical. Gather data. Analyze evidence. Use reasoning and logic. Use cross-examination of their claims. Use the Socratic method. Don't immediately write it off as false. Because you don't know. For all you know, the gods and the goddesses might be trying to talk to you through that person. And you could be arrogantly rejecting the message without even realizing it. Check your arrogance. Check your biases. Check your preconceived notions. In general, check yourself. I think that's honestly all I need to say about that. Um, but I would like to remind people of something that's otherwise completely unrelated. Not otherwise unrelated, it's just straight up unrelated. Um, please, please, please go onto Facebook and check out the Facebook page Vikings Against Racism. Um, it's really important that people do this, especially since um, my friend and I are working on a documentary about me. And it's predominantly because I carry this shield here that says Vikings Against Racism. And I really do not want to give people the impression that I'm taking credit for Vikings Against Racism. I'm not. So please help me out. 